January 16th, 2024, Canada, baby. Okay, uh, I'm talking Candace Owens today. Uh, and it's been on my list to get through. Uh, because some of the, a lot of the stuff Candace Owens is talking about is happening in, in Canada, if not all of it, okay? Because we're not getting news in Canada, okay? Uh, Candace, I love you. I love you, Candace. You make so much sense. And I want to talk about a video that Candace did five days ago. And when I was backtracking to see what date it was, uh, I realized I missed Martin Luther King Day yesterday. So I am sorry about that, Martin Luther King. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, it's too bad. Uh, everything has uh, kind of went backwards. But... I want to talk about Candace Owens today, Tent City Weather Report, but in honor of Martin Luther King, I want to play you guys a Brad Paisley song, Country Artist, Welcome to the Future, when he uh, sang a song uh, 14 years ago, 2009, it was released, and this song today still gives me goosebumps, okay? Uh, welcome to the future. It, it had meaning 14 years ago, but now it's gotten a little sideways, okay? But, regardless, I want to pay tribute to Martin Luther King, who really stood up for people's rights. Okay, this is Brad Paisley. Welcome to the future. All right. Okay, I got the sound effects on today, guys. Okay, uh, Brad Paisley, Martin Luther King. Welcome to the future. Ugh, Still so good today. Okay, we're going to go into uh, Tent City Weather Report. We're going to dive in there to Tent City Weather Report. Okay, it's uh, pretty cold. We're in a, in a cold uh, snap right now, guys. And uh, uh, we got some snow on the way. So it's uh, pretty cold for the people in, uh, in tent cities all across Canada. We got tent cities all across Canada. Okay. Um, so, uh, I want to jump into, uh, Candace Owens. I got two pieces to talk about. Five days ago on my Facebook page, I posted, uh, a video. Let me just find it. Let me just find it, guys. Uh, it's called, uh, I'm not sexist for this, okay? That's Candace Owens. I gotta, I gotta sit sideways if I'm wearing these suckers. Okay, so it's, uh, I'm not sexist for this, okay? So, Candace Owens, uh, put this on. You guys gotta take a listen to this. She talks about, in this video, she talks about, um, three things that they're really, well, three things that they're really pushing in the schools, uh, and way of thinking in America, and it's the same thing happening here, and the three things are equity, diversity, and inclusion, okay? We all know this, okay? So let's listen to what Candace Owens has to say about it, okay? Because I love you, Candace Owens. You make so much sense, but nobody else can say it. No question, we are living amongst the dumbest generation of human beings that have ever existed in human history. That's not even a question, not even for debate, especially in the West. Actually, I would say almost exclusive. Uh, to the West. Western society is falling apart. And it's largely because we're extremely privileged. There's no suffering, right? And so when there's no suffering, we just start to make ourselves suffer. We start looking for things, these, these fake social justice pursuits, trying to look for bad stuff everywhere because actually we all grew up quite well, right? We, we're not suffering like our great grandparents were suffering or our great great grandparents were suffering. And it's especially problematic here in America, where we have seen this initiative, it, 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 an utterly stupid initiative to push DEI, which stands for diversity, equity, and inclusion, which means I no longer want to hire you based on merit. I, I want to intentionally pursue people based on how they look. I want to include people based on how they look, right, because it makes you feel good or something. An Alaskan airline flight, you probably saw this in the news, had a door that just flew off of its hinges mid-flight with 170 people on board. Apparently, it had some loose door bolts. Unbelievable. Here, you can see the picture here. Uh, gratefully, 
nobody was sitting in those two seats that are being pictured. And because they had really just taken off, everybody mostly had their seatbelts on. So nobody died midair. But of course, this could have been a tremendous tragedy. Imagine if this was flying to Hawaii. This was flying over water. This would have been a bunch of people would have died. That is the truth. And they grounded a bunch of their flights, went, made all of the Boeing MAX 9s go through inspections and found that there were also other planes that had loose door bolts. Well, recently, there has been this push. We made fun of it on a recent episode last year, at the end of last year, to include DEI hiring practices when it comes to pilots, when it comes to people that are servicing the planes. They want more of this diversity, this equity, and this inclusion. It doesn't really matter Obviously, whether or not you die on the plane, don't you just not want to be accused of being racist and of being sexist? And so I don't want it. You shouldn't want it either. You should not care if every pilot in the sky is a white, straight male. You shouldn't care. You should just want the best pilot to be in the sky. Yep. Let's be honest. Yep. If we're all being honest. I think we can agree. I prefer male pi- pilots. We recently saw some airline, I think it was Southwest, where they said, this is going to be the first uh, flight where there's two women. There's two women pilots in the air. I'm not particularly comfortable with that. There is this natural instinct that we have to want to see certain sexes in certain positions. That natural instinct is being guided by our biology. That biology is then determining the sociology of our society, Okay to mechanics, when it comes to cars, when it comes to pilots and planes, I want a man. You know why? Because I'm raising a son, and I see that their brains work differently. I see that my little two-year-old son's fascination with every garbage truck, plane in the sky, how he wants to sit there and understand how it works, that is natural. He has a natural proclivity towards that, while my girl wants to play with Barbie dolls and sing. It uh, was five days ago, should have been January 11th, that I posted it. It's called I'm Not Sexist by Candace Owens, and it makes so much sense. Like, it literally makes my head hurt. Candace, thanks for being real. Um, and uh, Candace posted, um, and I just shared it today, uh, January 16th, and it's only 7.11 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, so, Candace Owens has a video on there. This is what compassion got you. Yep, we were too friendly, guys. So, check out that video, because New York students are being switched to online learning so migrants can live and stay in the schools, guys. Stay you, stay true, get to talking, and uh, true nor strong and free.